I want us to listen to the video of Senator Crystal, whom I had analyzed last week, now currently advising President Ruto that it should be persistence and have more experience on how he uses his words under his administration. And I think her speech is very much significant and that is why I've decided to bring it on a table. I also want to remind the president that it's not about him. It's not personal. We didn't name it Kenya Kwanzaa. That wasn't us. Kenya Kwanzaa. Not Kwanzaa the noun speaker, but Kwanzaa the adjective. And instead of putting Kenya first, your presidency has put Machiavellianism first, like King Lear when all that us young people wanted was for you to put Kenya first. Speaker, the entire internet was screaming during Sunday night's interview with the president. I don't mean to anthropomorphize, but TV screens across the country would have turned themselves off themselves if they could, after what is said to have been a train wreck of a conversation from start to finish that left the emperor naked. I must acknowledge, however, the decision by the president to have a two-hour unscripted sit-down because seldom do African heads of state risk putting themselves in unpredictable, uncontrolled environments like that. With our majority leader setting the tone through this motion, let the Senate be your Cordelia, Mr. President. You are a leader in the service industry, and I was told just last night that the two most vital pillars in the service industry are perception, and experience. And for such a delicate subject matter, you at the very least need a stellar crisis communications team because your words kept fueling the fire last week. I also want to remind the president that it's not about him. It's not personal. We didn't name it Kenya Kwanzaa. That wasn't us. Kenya Kwanzaa. Not Kwanzaa the noun speaker, but Kwanzaa the adjective. And instead of putting Kenya first, your presidency has put Machiavellianism first, like King Lear, when all that us young people wanted was for you to put Kenya first. Like a performance review of sorts, Speaker, we expected that on his third attempt to address us on Sunday night, he would come with details, with data, definitives, strategies, but it was still so vague, so non-committal, so uninformed. It felt dismissive and disconnected. Speaker, the president went on national television without a clue of what has been happening in the country that he believes he governs. Was the deputy president right in his address last week as well, that his boss may not know all that is going on in the country? How many people are in custody, he was asked. He replied, I have a ballpark figure from the police that they have enough people. What do you say to the youth who say yours is not a listening government, he was asked. He said, I have four things, housing jobs, digital jobs, export of labor. Had not shown any respect to Kenyans. He lied to them and it forced the Gen Z's to demonstrate because the finance bill was lethal to them. When I talk about persistence, Persistence means you are unanimously working together with zeal and zest by ensuring that each and every person in the country have not lament or have not comment negatively on your administration. Simple as that. I want us to break the video of young and energetic lady who has just thwarted the UDA government on the two words I'll begin with. Before I carry on, ladies and gentlemen, it is still Zion analysis. It is my hope that this video is going to find so well wherever you are. I want to take this golden chance to thank you so much for your great support to this channel. Because if it was not your support, then this channel could have not reached or could have not grown to where it is as at now. Actually, I want to take this golden chance 
to thank the new subscribers who tune in and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want to say thank you and may God bless you. And as you bother the same boat with the members, let's consider to like this video. Don't forget to drop your opinion at the comment section below. Let's proceed. You've listened to Senator Crystal. I can say that her speech is sad news. We've, ru we've been ruled for several years under different administration. Today I sat down and asked myself, what if Kenya could have been like United States of America, which have been ruled by several presidents? Then it has never been grown as it is right now. Because USA have grown. That is a question which I ask myself. And therefore, if we could have, have such kind of a great leader giving the head of state advice, in fact, the government should deserve this lady to act as advisor of President Ruto. Because she is speaking the truth. She is owing a word of wisdom to the son of Sugoi under his administration. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, words kept about, when I talk about words kept about, these are words which are being used by the current head of state. The other day, he called the demonstrators criminal. The other day, when he was in an interview, by Linus Kai Kai, he called, he asked, he was asked a simple question and surprisingly, he asked the me media house, that is that boy alive, who was shot, who was shot dead. So those are the questions and those are the factors we must check and look on our own. The truth of the matter is that our country have failed and now some leaders are just taking things for granted. They have no time to discuss any agenda, contradicting to our country vision and dream, which majority of Kenyans are having. And that is a total failure. Then lastly, this has made President Tutu to be put under siege as Crystal, the senator, is deconstructing him exposing him and no longer pampering the president. How I wish our leaders, some of them could have behaved this way, then our country could have grown far. You've listened to that clip and I also had listened to it. That is why I decided to pick two major points which the lady had said. Indeed, our country need a change. And change begins with the leader. And leader is the president. After the president, the, those who are following him, the deputy, so on and so on. Then wanainchi watakuwa mbele pia kusaidia rise. I think that is what we call building nation together, listening to the people and creating a great invention, creating a great cool administration to the people whom you are ruling. And that is what the lady is saying, that Ruto should not have that mentality as his party, his party is Kenya Kwanza. He should not have that, that Kwanza first. He must think that Kenyans and many are not his administration as a first priority. I wish you all the best and eagerly waiting for your updates or opinion on that lady's remarks or the Senator Crystal remarks. Thank you so much.